I'm Joanna, the graphic designer here at the Wildflower Center. I'm here to talk to you about this lovely oak in my backyard. It's a chinkapin oak, um, and it is a wonderful tree, especially for a very small yard like I have here. This tree was planted about 15, 15 or 16 years ago. It started out as a skinny little thing, and now it is just this tall, straight tree that goes way higher than our house. I'm sure it's over 30 feet tall. It's a very fast growing tree. Um, it loves some parts of Austin because it likes growing in limestone. Um, I love this tree for the shade that it brings to our entire yard and to our house. This tree provides all the shade we need, almost too much for some of the plants that I want to grow, but it's great in the summertime. Chinkapin oaks are also great for attracting wildlife to your yard. These will attract birds, notably hummingbirds, butterflies, squirrels, and more. It's also a larval host for the gray hair streak butterfly. Another cool thing about this tree is its leaves. They are very large. They can grow up to eight inches in length. They, this is a white oak and it has these wonderful lobes along the edges that create kind of a scalloped look. Um, they're shiny green on top and a dull green on the bottom. In the fall, they change to dark purpley gray on the top and then a light dusty gray on the bottom. They're very pretty and they're fun to rake up. This tree also produces acorns and I've read that they are very sweet, probably mostly for animals, but humans can eat them too. You would just have to process them correctly. You can read about how to do that and other native plants and trees that you can bring into your life on our website at wildflower.org slash plants dash main. Thanks.